Hi everybody, my name is Summer. I'm a teacher at Green Apple Garden Play Schools and in celebration for International Mud Day tomorrow, join me and my friends as we go on a safari and find nature tools to make paintbrushes and we get a little muddy. Let me introduce my friends. Hello everyone, my name is Jenna and I'm also a teacher at Green Apple Garden Play Schools and I'm really excited to go on this adventure with me and my friends. Come on, let's go. Hola a todos ahí en casita. Mi nombre es Eugenia Peñuelas y pertenezco a la gran familia Apple Play Schools. Trabajo en Manzanitas Spanish Immersion School y estoy muy contenta que ustedes y nosotros vamos a ir en esta aventura con nuestros amigos. ¡Vamos! Mi nombre es Jeremy Santos de la Escuela Manzanita Spanish Immersion Play School. Hoy estamos aquí y estoy sumamente feliz de que me acompañen en este maravilloso viaje. Vamos a buscar tesoros de la naturaleza. Entre ellos vamos a encontrar palitos, ramas, flores y también vamos a buscar materiales para hacer lodo, agua y arena. ¿Me acompañas? ¡Vamos! Join Yerme and I as we hunt for items on our list to make paintbrushes. Throughout the whole video, we'll be using this list to find the nature items to make our paintbrushes. We have number one, sticks, two, leaves, three, pine needles, four, flowers, and five, yarn. And remember, your items can look different from ours, then that's okay. So come along with me, and we're gonna go look for our items. Yerme, do you think you could help us find some sticks? El número uno en la lista, palitos, sí. Encontré varios. Y también encontré hojas que es el número dos en la lista. Summer, ¿puedes ver hojas por ahí? Muéstrame. Now we can mark sticks off of our list. Yerme said we were looking for number two leaves. And there are lots of leaves outside. So it can be hard to choose from. But I think I see some leaves that I'd like to pick over here. There are many leaves in this area. There's leaves on this tree that are small. There's big ones on the ground. There's also these big ones over here that have a stem already like a paintbrush, which would be fun to use. Oh, I think I like these leaves the best because I don't have to pick them. They've already fallen off the tree and there's many to choose from and they already have a stick like base that could be fun for a paintbrush. So I will put these into our backpack and we will move on to number three, which is pine needles. Yermia, do you see any pine needles where you're at? Yo también tengo el número tres, que son unos pinos hermosos. Hmm. ¿Cuál será el número cuatro en nuestra lista? Flores, sí. Wow, hermosa, es verdad. ¿Tú encontraste flores también, Summer? And now we can mark pine needles off of our list. We are looking for flowers. I see lots of leaves around here, but no flowers. So let's take a walk and see if maybe farther down the trail we can find some flowers. I think I see some. There are many flowers over here. We could use these very pretty purple flowers, or there's even dandelions we could use. I think I'm gonna go with a dandelion because it already kind of looks like a paintbrush with its long stem. But you can use whatever flowers you'd like for your paintbrush. Now that we will put that into our backpack, let's see. We can mark flowers off of our list and move on to yarn or rubber band. What are we gonna use a yarn and rubber band for, Yerme? Mochila siempre tengo hilo. ¿Qué te parece si pasamos a Eugenia y a Sirena para que nos expliquen cómo hacer todo y qué tienen ellas también? all the things on our list. We have sticks, leaves, 
pine needles, flowers, yarn and rubber bands on our backpack. Now we need to go find our friends Jenna and A. Eugenia because they're going to help us make our paint brushes and mud paint. Come on, let's go! Now that we have all of our natural materials collected with Summer and Yurame, let's take a look in our backpack, eh, Eugenia? Llena, en los materiales que nuestras amigas Jay y Summer nos compartieron, tenemos palitos, flores, ramitas de pino, hojas, y en nuestras casas podemos encontrar ligas, cuerdas o listón, cualquier cosa para amarrar nuestras brochas. Así que siéntete libre de utilizar cualquier material que hay en casa o que encontramos en nuestros patios. Hmm, I wonder what we can find in our backpack that's going to help keep our leaves on our sticks. Hey, Eugenio, what do you think we could use? Para armar nuestra brocha, Necesitamos el palito, una ramita de pino y por supuesto, llena, lo podemos amarrar ya sea con la liga o con la cuerda. Yo elegiré la cuerda y la hacemos un nudito. Podemos pedirle ayuda a mamá y a papá o cualquier persona que esté en casa para ayudarnos si no podemos hacerlo solitos. Y la aplasto fuerte, pero sin quebrar nuestros materiales, siendo cuidadosos. Yo ya tengo mi primera brocha. Y así podemos seguir con las siguientes. Tú, Jenna, ¿qué vas a utilizar para amarrar tu brocha? That's a great idea, Eugenio. We can use the elastic band from our backpack. All we have to do is hold our flower next to our stick and wrap the elastic band around them. Great idea. Para mis hojas llenas, yo voy a poner un listón para amarrar. Le hago un nudito y cierro. Nuestros materiales son frágiles, entonces tenemos que usar un poco de cuidado al hacerlo. Y ya tengo mi segunda brocha. Around and around we go. So our natural materials are nice and tight to our stick. There we go. Three paintbrushes. We had a recent rainstorm, so I know exactly where I can find lots of mud in woods over by my house. Come on, let's go.
that should be enough. Now that we made our paint brushes, we need to make something to paint with. So we're gonna make mud paint out of the mud that we got in the woods. So we're gonna take a little bit of mud and put them in each container. And then we're gonna add some water from A. Eugenia's rain barrel. We want our paint to be nice and thin, almost like how we would have watercolors. If it's too thick, it won't go on our paper very well. We want to stir in the water. Just like this. Una vez que tengamos nuestras brochas listas, ahora sí podemos trabajar con nuestro lodo que previamente nuestra amiga Yena nos ayudó a recolectar. A nuestro lodo podemos agregarle un poco de condimentos para darle color. Le voy a poner un color naranja. Pueden observar. Mañana es Día Internacional del barro o del lodo como le quieran llamar y podemos revolver podemos revolver inclusive con la misma brocha para darle el color yo voy a agregar un poquito más para darle más color y revuelvo y ahora sí la hora de la diversión utilizar un poco de nuestras brochas Y cada brocha nos puede dar una textura diferente. Utilizo ahora las hojas. O bien, podemos utilizar colorantes artificiales de comida. O si en casa tenemos pinturas líquidas o pinturas acrílicas, podemos agregarlas también a nuestro barro para darle un color más brillante. Como por ejemplo, yo puedo poner un poquito de naranja más de color para darle ese color vibrante si queremos. Revuelvo, revuelvo bien. ¿Y están listos? Y tiene un color más vibrante. Y lo mejor, tiene un olor muy rico por la paprika que la habíamos puesto antes. Y tú, Jenna, ¿qué vas a ponerle a tu barro? I'm gonna use spices from my house. To make a color for my mud, I'm going to use chili powder to make a red color and onion powder to make my a light brown. And you can add any other kind of spices you might have at your house. You might need a lot to lighten the mud. And we're gonna need to stir it. And the cool thing about using spices is that your paint has a smell to it. Mmm. got a little bit orange color compared to the regular just plain dirt now let's try the onion powder oh it's 
looks a little thick. We might need to add some more water. Looks like we need to add more spices. It's still very dark. paintbrushes and our mud, it's time for the fun part of making a painting. So all we really need to do is find an old piece of cardboard or scrap paper at your house, recycled material of any kind, and take your paintbrush and paint. This is why it's nice to have thin paint so you can actually make it work. There's a smiley face. Then we will try out just the regular paint to see the difference. for summer and summer festival. You know what playing in all this mud reminds me of? A song I know called the Mud Stomp. Let's go. See the mud on the ground? Our feet can mash it all around. Everyone, everyone come along. Everyone, everyone sing this song. Everyone, everyone turn around. Everyone, everyone stomp the ground. Everyone, everyone run in place. Everyone, everyone stand up straight. Everyone, everyone jump real high. Everyone, everyone touch the sky. See the mud on the ground. Our feet can mash it all around. Everyone, everyone come along. Everyone, everyone sing this song. You see the mud on the ground. Our feet can mash it all around. Everyone, everyone come along. Everyone, everyone sing this song. Everyone, everyone turn around. Everyone, everyone stomp the ground. Everyone, everyone run in place. Everyone, everyone stand up straight. Everyone, everyone jump real high. Everyone, everyone touch the sky. You see the mud on the ground. Our feet can mash it all around. Everyone, everyone come along. Everyone, everyone sing this song. Hola amigos, Jenna. Mientras miraba tu video, me acordé de algo lindísimo en mi país cuando yo estaba pequeña. Cuando llovía, salíamos afuera con mis amigos y jugábamos con el agua y le poníamos arena y convertíamos en lodo. Me acordé de una canción muy bonita. Maestra Eugenia, ¿quieres acompañarme? Ven conmigo. Si puedes ver lodo en el piso, pues yo lo llevo en mis pies. Muévete, muévete sin parar. Muévete, muévete, hazlo ya. Muévete, muévete al batir. Muévete, muévete y vamos a unir. Está frío, sí, 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 está frío, sí, sí, sí. Muévete, muévete, ven a jugar, muévete, muévete, hazlo ya. Muévete, muévete al batir, muévete, muévete al topar. Si te gusta el lodo, ven conmigo, vamos a jugar. Muévete, muévete, salta ya, muévete, muévete, hazlo ya. No tengas miedo, es divertido. Ven conmigo a jugar. Muévete, muévete. Muévete, muévete al batir. Muévete, muévete sin parar. ¡Yay! Gracias, amigos. Muévete, muévete. Sin... Muévete, muévete sin parar. Muévete, muévete, hazlo ya. Muévete, muévete al batir. Muévete, muévete y vamos a unir. ¡Feliz Día Internacional del Lodo! ¡Adiós! I hope everyone had fun on this adventure today making your own paintbrushes and mud paint. I know I did. If you want to continue learning how to be muddy and messy, we're celebrating International Mud Day tomorrow. So be sure to check Green Apple Garden Play School's Facebook page and YouTube channel. Bye-bye!
Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for coming along our adventure with us and make sure to join us tomorrow for International Mud Day.